The NFL preseason is just getting fired up, and I've got your free NFL pick for this Thursday. NFL preseason is here, and we've got a new promo code. Use HOF, and it'll save you 20% off of the entire picks and parlays. August the 12th, when the Pittsburgh Steelers take on the Philadelphia Eagles. With me today, I've got Dan Kaiser from Dan Kaiser Sports. How's it going, Mr. Kaiser? That's going good. Going, it's going good. Yeah, but preseason football to me that's like uh, you know to be I'll be honest preseason football is a lot like Higgs in the NBA with me I mean to be honest I'd probably I'd probably watch would probably rather watch cricket than watch preseason football and I'd rather have rusty nails driven in my knees than watch cricket so that pretty much will kind of tell you what I feel about preseason football but here we go anyway well, I feel the same way about cricket. However, I am kind of excited for some preseason football here. We got the Steelers taking on the Eagles, a little home state rivalry happening. It's a pick 'em game, and we've got a total at 35. So what do you say about this one? Yeah, yeah, as you say, it's a, it's a battle of the Keystone, Keystone State. Uh, Pittsburgh does have the advantage, if you can call it that. They played in the Hall of Fame game where they beat Dallas 16 to 3. They didn't look, uh, you know, ben, Big Ben didn't play in the game. They didn't look good in the first half. They didn't score. Uh, they scored all their points in the second half. I mean, to me, preseason football, it's like you're betting on which team has the better players that won't be on their roster come the end of the season or it come at the start of the season. So, you know, it's it's kind of a – you're looking at for any advantage you can get. Uh you know, Philadelphia is not a good team. They're four and eleven last year. They got rid of their coach. Their starting quarterback's gone. Their wide receivers are gone. Their starting tackles gone. It's a new look for them, also. So, if Big Ben plays in this game, I don't expect him to play much. And again, it'll just be a battle between Mason Rudolph and uh, Dwayne Haskins for the second uh, quarterback spot on Pittsburgh. You got Jalen Hurts playing for Philadelphia. I don't. Can't see him playing a lot because uh, you can't afford to get him hurt. Uh, they did have, do they? They do have Devontae Smith that they drafted, but he won't be playing uh, because he's still recovering from a uh, injury. So you got basically Nick Mullins and Joe Flacco against uh, uh, Rudolph and uh, Haskins. So yeah, that that's basically going to be your matchup in this game, I guess. For me. I just like the the fact that the Steelers have played a game. They have knocked off a little bit of rust. Uh, they, you know, so they get a little bit used to more uh, in game situations from from that first game. The defense looked good, but it, like I said, they were playing against a Dallas team that didn't have Dak Pre, uh, Prescott playing. So at, at a pick 'em, I'm just going to take the team that has some experience. I know they're built already in the preseason. I'm going to go with the Steelers in this one. And part, partly for the same reason, they have played a game with each other already. I like Mike Tomlin a lot. He's been with the organization for a long time. And one stat that I know is that Mike Tomlin plays a lot to the under in the preseason also. So I'm with you, Dan Kaiser. We're going to roll with the Steelers against the Eagles on this Thursday night football.